Hi guys, I'm Brad Cole with BC Designs and uh, I was just want to bring a video and show you guys some of the projects that we've just come up with and it's a little more personal than still photos. You get to see different attributes of the project and so we're going to take you out to the wood shop and on some projects this piece that I'm going to show you today actually we uh, just delivered it last night so I'm going to go to the client's house and they've actually got stuff put in it and using it for what it's supposed to be used for so we'll go for that. Thanks. Alright guys, here we are. This is the uh, piece we just delivered last night and uh, kind of incorporated. They wanted a rustic um, look, this kind of fireplace. They gave me full liberty in the design so we came up with came up with this. Um, I'd seen it in a magazine. I'd done it on one other piece before. Um, they're kind of bold dovetails and uh, they stick out from each, from each dimension. An um, inch and a half on the wide ones, three quarter inches on the small ones. Uh, made it a full one-piece standing unit and um, the top doesn't separate um, I reverse it's complete um, red oak <laughs> there's nothing in this that's one thing they did stipulate they wanted um, solid oak and no plywood they didn't want any veneer in it so when you take out a drawer I built the drawers and uh, if you look inside look in the back everything in there is red oak there's no plywood. The drawer bottoms are 3 8 um, plain down red oak. Started out at 3 quarters. I made the uh, the um, drawer guides with a, uh, the female part here, which you see in the drawer bottom and the male part um, in the cabinet. We uh, just used kind of a raised, um, I don't know if you can, kind of a raised um, panel drawer with um, some black mission hardware. Just made those on the table saw, brought that same characteristic into the door, which um, you can see they already got, there's three adjustable shelves per, and we could put more or less shelves for DVD storage, they got their Xbox in this one, and uh, got the uh, soft closed hinges for opening and shutting multiple times. Then they had, uh, on each side of the cabinet, there are um, shelving for decorations and above you can put. I kind of tried to make it a dual purpose um, cabinet. Um, I wanted to make it that if they ever did want to put doors across the uh, the TV, I just put face frames around so we could easily um, easily remove this piece which I just have pocket hold in the back and uh, we could put a style across there and easily put doors to shut in a cabinet. Um, with the way they have their room set up and against this wall they needed a wider platform to turn the TV for more viewing space so that's why we inset the top part and left it so you could um, have more more room to move the TV for better viewing in the area but this is pretty much it um, I've never built a cabinet quite like this <laughs> it was for a client that wanted it this way so we went, it, went with it there's nothing but 100% red oak in it The drawers slide good, they fit good. Um, they got a full storage for um, Xbox controllers and stuff. And uh, just basically the same storage over here. You can adjust. I got all the hardware from Rockler. And I'm very impressed with the soft close hinges. Uh, um, for the price, what I got them for, um, basically $3 more a pair. Um, so a total of $6, you get the soft close, which you can switch to the normal self close if you want. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's just a uh, entertainment center that I built to the specs. They gave me um, flexibility in the design, so I came up with it and ran it by them. They loved it. We ran with it, and uh, you should have seen the look on their eyes, on their face when they saw it last night. We're gonna. This is the first piece in the set. They're gonna want several more pieces for this living room. So I'm excited for it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.